Matt here, Atlas Precision Consulting. Today's video, we're going to talk about dispositions. We're going to talk about uh, order dispositions, and then we're also going to talk about line dispositions. We'll talk about their, their basic definitions, and then I'll also throw in some tips through the video. So I'm starting off here with a fresh brand new order. I have no lines on it. I'm going to right click up in the header, and I'm going to click on order disposition. This is going to pop up another window, and I have four different options other than blank, no disposition. Uh, and I'm let's say I know I'm going to do a direct ship, so I'm going to set this direct ship. I'm going to click OK. Now, when I come down here, and anytime I enter any item onto this order, it's automatically going to set it to a D disposition, which stands for direct ship. Now, you can, if you're in the middle of entering an order, you can come in and change it after the fact. Um, so if we come back into order disposition, say, hey, we're not going to do a direct ship. We're going to do a special ship. And I click OK. You're just getting one extra pop up that's asking you, do you want to attempt to change all the lines to the new disposition? You say yes, you have the lines on there. It's going to change it. Um, so that, that's the gist of the order uh, disposition. Let's talk about line disposition. Now I have another order here where... I have two on the order, I have two allocated, but you notice my disposition's grayed out. I can't change it to anything. I can't change it to canceled. I can't change it to direct ship. I can't do anything. It's because it has quant it, all my quantities allocated. Now, if I had a partial allocation, I could change the disposition on the remaining uh, uh, amount on there. So I have quantity allocated on this line here um, just because it makes it easier. I don't have to go to the extended tab if I want to come in here and manually change the disposition. Um, and again, I'll go through these definitions here in a second. But I do want to jump to the extended info tab because you'll notice um, there is no T disposition listed here, even though it is one in the system. So I, I guess while we're here, let's go over the definition. So B stands for back order. C stands for cancel. So that's a choice that you're making to cancel line off. It's different than right clicking and deleting a line off because it'll still show as a line on there with a C disposition. Or if you had unshipped quantity that you just wanted to go ahead and cancel, you would use that function as well because you can't delete a line that has a partial shipment on it. D we've already talked about, that's direct ship. H is a hold. Uh, essentially, if you want to put this order in, you don't want to make it a quote, but you want to make it an actual order. You can set it to H from an order disposition or at the line, and it just it will not allocate anything, even if you have quantity available to allocate. M is stands for multi-stage process. Not a lot of people use that. I'm not really going to go that into that in this video. P stands for production order. If this was an assembly item and it was on back order, it would default to a P disposition so we could create a production order for it. S we talked about, that's a special shipment. But you'll notice T for transfer is not listed there. So I'm going to go to my extended info tab. Now remember, I had to unallocate because if I come back in here and I fully allocate You'll notice that disposition drop down is grayed out. But let's say I want to transfer this from another location. I don't want to allocate the ones from my location. So what I have to do is I can't come in here and still pick a T. It still doesn't exist. I have to come over here. Now, this is depending on your settings. You, if you change the source location to source it from a different warehouse, it will automatically set your disposition to T, which would then allow you to create a transfer order. Um, so that's dispositions in a nutshell. Uh, if you have questions on dispositions or if you want to see videos on anything else, make sure you put a comment down below. Please like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.